Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we are going to be importing an iClone animation and retargeting it in Unreal Engine 5 preview number two. And yes, I said preview number two. If you didn't know, today Unreal Engine released a new version of Unreal Engine 5. So before you update though, make sure everything's backed up because sometimes you kind of run into troubles and you don't want to ruin your project that you're working on right now. So make sure before you update, go ahead and back up your files. Now this tutorial right here was requested by fellow iClone creator, Rosuck Media. So Rosuck, this one's for you. And I'm hoping that you can learn something from this, all right? So in iClone right here, I'm just gonna choose a regular character that comes with the actual iClone itself and I'll just do the motion dummy mail and then I'll just go to an animation that is in motion plus is okay go mail and I'll just do mason talk one and this is gonna go ahead and load this nice animation in iClone so I'll click this character file export now right now there's no live link plugin but I'm sure they're gonna create one in the future so we're kind of doing an offline method so I'll click on export and I'm gonna go ahead and go to export FBX we're gonna choose unreal the range we will do 1450 and then 60 FPS, go into Unreal, click on these three dotted lines, and we're going to embed motion. And then we're going to do embed a pose for Unreal, export, and I created a new folder here. And we'll just title this Rosuck. All right, so while this is exporting, let's go ahead and hop into Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. Now, this is pretty much my Unreal Engine 5 test map right now. This is the Slay uh, project file that you can download for free as well in the Epic Marketplace and a launcher. So go ahead and grab that if you want to follow along. Now, for the character, I did get a character from the Epic Marketplace called the Assassin. Here's the mesh. We got an assassin. We have a skeleton. We'll double click on the skeleton just to kind of take a look at it. As you can see, he's in an A pose, which is good. We'll go ahead and save that and I'm going to close it. Now, in the content, I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to name this folder iClone. Next, I will just drag and drop that FBX we exported from iClone onto this folder right here and make sure you use T0 as ref post is checked. We're going to create animation as well. So I'm going to scroll down, make sure animation is checked. Exported time and 60 frames per second is okay. And let's click on import. All right, so we have the files compiling shaders and now we have the animation, we have a skeleton and we have a skeletal mesh, which is perfect. Go ahead and go to the content so we can go back to this folder here. Now I'm going to create a new folder, right click new folder and we will take, we will name this retarget. Retard J is okay. Double click that. Create a new animation IK rig. And we will choose assassin for this one. So I'm going to scroll all the way down I'll see, until we see that skeletal mesh right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this assassin. All right. Next, we're going to right click again, create an animation IK rig one more time. Because this time around, we are going to go ahead and choose Rosuck skeletal mesh. So type this through Rosuck. So that's good. It's not how you spell it, but it's okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually double click the Assassin IK rig. And now we are going to define the chain. Now I know people are so used to the one click retargeting in Unreal Engine 4 and, and actually Unreal Engine 5 Access 1. But unfortunately, I think this is going to be the way forward. So we're just going to have to get used to it. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to click on the root. I'm going to right click this root and we're going to set the retarget root right here. So you're going to see the retarget root is now set to root and we're going to add a couple of chains. Okay. So next we will go to the spine one, spine two, spine three, right click new retarget chain. I'm not going to rename it. So that's okay. And then we're going to go to clavicle left upper arm, lower arm, hand. So you can see that coming down, right click, new retarget chain and then press okay. Now, if you're not familiar with Unreal Bone Names, you can turn this on if you don't know what everything is. If you go to character, bones, bone names, you're gonna see where all these bones are sitting. So if you're new to Unreal, just turn this on and kind of follow along. I mean, I'm just kind of familiar with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. We're going to the index one, two, and three if we want to add fingers. But for this tutorial, I don't think the animation had fingers, but if you have fingers in yours, go ahead and right click and just pretty much choose all the index, the middle, the pinky, the ring, and the thumb. So that's the same exact way. I'm gonna scroll down now. I'm gonna go to clavicle R, upper arm, lower arm, hand right, right, click new target and then click OK. And then again, we're not doing any fingers, so that's OK. And it looks like we have one neck bone and then the head. So what we'll do is just click on these two, right click, new retarget chain and then press OK. Now moving on to the legs, thigh, calf, foot, ball. All right, so we have four, right click, new retarget and then press OK. And then again, we're going to go to the right side, thigh right, calf right, foot, ball, right click, 
to retarget skeleton from bones and then press OK. So everything is good. Spine to three, left to hand, clavicle to hand, neck to head, thigh to ball, thigh to ball. Now I will save this now and minimize this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same exact thing for Rosak. Now this right here is CC or character creator bone names. So if you click on character bones, bone names, you're gonna see there are a lot more bones because this right here actually has some eyes and mouth bones in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now because I'm pretty familiar with the iClone bone system as well. Now for the retarget root, we're actually gonna use the CC base hip. Now right click on this and set retarget root. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. So we'll look at a waist, spine one, spine two, right click, and then new retarget chain. Now, if your skeleton system is a lot different than this, you don't have to choose the same exact one that I'm choosing. You're gonna have to pretty much play around to see which bones are the correct one, all right? So don't follow this to the teeth if you have a different bone system. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the clavicle, upper arm, forearm, and then hand, right click, new retarget, press OK. And then we're going to go to the other side, since we're not doing fingers, clavicle, upper arm, forearm, hand. This is the left side, no retarget, and then press OK. All right, we're going to go neck twist, and then neck twist two, and then head. And I'm going to go ahead and right click that, no retarget, and then press OK. So as you all know, the previous bones, or skeleton only had one neck bone, but that's okay if you want to mess around with that just play around we'll use two for now that's fine and i'm going to scroll down now and we're going to look for the calf so we're going to go to thigh calf foot and then it's going to be toe base right click you retarget chain press okay all right so we're going to go with thigh calf foot and then toe right click set new target press okay so thigh to toe base, and that's pretty much the basic ones we're going to do. I'll press save now and then minimize this. Now, even though this is a new way, we still have to make sure that everything is set to skeleton. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna go to the assassin, go to mesh and go to the skeleton. I'm gonna go to the skeleton tree, change this into show retargeting options. And we're still gonna need this to be animation, pelvis to be animation, and everything else to be skeleton, just like so. Save this, and now we're gonna make sure Rosak skeleton is the same exact way. So we'll go to iClone, Rosak skeleton, go to the skeleton tree, turn it on, everything should be good. Animation all the way to this uh, pelvis right here, set to animation, but everything else we're going to set to skeleton. Shift, right click, we're targeting skeleton, scroll up, now we should be good, at least I think. So I'm going to minimize this now and go to the content and I'm just gonna control, control S just in case we get a crash there. Now I'm gonna go back to my retard J folder and I'm gonna create another animation tool, which is the IK retargeter. Now it's gonna ask me, pick the IK rig to copy the animation from. So in this case, we wanna copy the animation from Rosuck. So I'm gonna click on the rig for Rosuck and I'm just gonna say Rosuck Anim is okay. And I'll double click that now. I will go ahead and minimize this because I'm not sure what that actually is. For the target IK rig asset, we are now gonna choose Assassin right here. And you're gonna see that the Assassin skeletal mesh is gonna pop out just right beside Rosuck Skeleton. So I'll move my camera and I'll actually de decrease this so I can move a little bit slower. And you're gonna notice that these two characters are in the same pose, which is good, because we set that up in iClone whenever we export it. I'm going to close this now as to be Unreal A pose. Well, what if you don't have the same pose character? What if you have a T pose? Well, in that case, you're gonna have to edit this skeleton. So if I go right here and edit new pose, you're gonna see that the assassin will now have these bone things. And I'm going to move this to the left and I'm gonna click on the shoulder bone and I can actually move this now, just like so. Now, just so you know, for this to work, you will need to do all the chains like I just showed you before, including the root bone. If you don't do any of that and you try to do this, it's not going to work. So for you to be able to change the pose here, you're gonna have to set the chains and the IK rigs just like I showed you here earlier. Right, so since both of them are already in the same pose, kind of, it should work, we can go ahead and save this. And now we can now click on this temp motion that we exported from iClone. And by double clicking this, you are now gonna see that they are animating. But wait a minute, this doesn't look right. Well, absolutely. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this because if I go to the chain mapping now, I didn't actually set 
what the chains are. So that means is the target chain is spine 01. This is actually going to the neck twist. So that's not right. You can try to auto map the chains, but as you can see, it didn't help. So we'll have to manually set this now. So for the spine, we actually have to look for the actual waist, right? So as you can see, that corrected it. For the clavicle left, we actually need to go to the clavicle left for this one. And then clavicle right needs to match with clavicle right. And then neck is neck twist. And then thigh left actually needs to be thigh left. And then if I save this now, and go back to the asset browser and I double click it and press play. Now you're gonna see that it is mimicking the animation from the iClone animation that we imported into Unreal. And now, once you're done with this, all you have to do is click on this export selected animation, choose a folder, which in our case, we'll just go to RetardJ, press OK, and this is now going to export it similar to how we used to do it before. Now, I'm gonna save it now and minimize this. And now what we'll do is just create a sequence to make sure that this is working properly. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a level sequence here, and I'm just gonna call it whatever. And then I'm going to the content browser, Jagged Dropper Assassin now, go to Sequencer, Track, Actor, Add Rosuck, and now I'm gonna click this animation, and if I type in Rosuck, you're now gonna see that retargeted animation that we chose. I'm gonna press E here, and I'm going to rotate our assassin, so he's kind of facing the correct way, and then I will press play now. Actually, let me go ahead and extend my timeline right now, all to 720 frames, press play, and now that he is going to be animating. Again, if something funky is happening with you, go ahead and double check the chains and all the stuff that we did just to make sure that everything matches up. That's pretty much it, y'all. If y'all have any questions, let me know, and I really hope y'all learned something new today. If you want to really help out the channel, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.